So because this was a subscriber special and I was asked to do it, I had to put the juice cleanse on hold once again. <laughs> I'm finally becoming the lying, deceitful character that all the mukbangers portray and are supposed to be. I'm finally hitting my stride, guys. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, hello and welcome to another installment of Eating Vicariously Through Me. So this is a subscriber-sponsored meal. A gentleman uh, that watches me hit me up on Instagram. He's like, yo, I want to fund one of your meals for you. And uh, this is specifically what I want it to be. And he couldn't ask for anything better because these are legit. Easily my favorite items from McDonald's. So you hit it on the head with this one, my guy. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. And uh, I'm super, super excited to get into it. So let me go ahead and get things set up here just because it's going to be hard to eat like from this situation. So I'm going to get everything laid out and then we'll get into it. All right. Welcome back. We got all the sauces up in the front row cheering you on. If you're on stage, there they are cheering you on. We got all the nuggets. We've got the burgers out their cage. We've got fries spread out and we got some ketchup and extra mac sauce back here. So we're hitting, firing on all cylinders. We're ready to go. But there is one thing more to do and that is to pour so before we do anything more we must pour got the iceberg on deck and today ladies and gents we are bringing in a new title contender now i know i usually hit the a &W root beer but i went to the us of a that's the united states of america yesterday to pick up my knives that i won that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video and you guys will see that in the coming days but today we have ourselves a beautiful blonde, almost ginger ale-esque looking color, but it's not. It's cream soda, A&W cream soda. They don't, we don't have this in uh, Canada land. So when I was at the border, I saw that they had it in, uh, in the store there where I picked up my knives and I love a legitimate cream soda. And we do not get this here, so this is a treat today for me and I'm just ready okay I bought two cases of it too I bought 24 cans mm. oh wow just a vanilla flare vanilla skies it's kind of like in a weird way it's like it's like cotton candy Candy, cotton candy, -y. <laughs> candy. It's so good I can't speak. I think my boy just wants me to really enjoy this so he can enjoy it. And you know, just keep the mood light. Have a little bit of a silly goose time. So we will start with a nugget. Now, this sauce I've never had before. I actually requested barbecue. And instead, they sent spicy habanero. I'm a little bit vexed because I was really looking forward to the barbecue, but we'll just accept it for what it is and try something new. You know what? It's not barbecue, but I'm not mad at it. It's actually quite good. Here we have the most classic sweet and sour on the Italian boot chicken nugget. In one of my most recent McDonald's videos, I talked about the shape of the nuggets. Kind of inquired to myself why. Probably could have just Googled it myself because in this day and age, anytime I have a question, I have to realize I can literally just Google anything because the internet has changed education in the world. But sometimes I have questions that I don't actually care enough to get the answers to myself. However, I sparked an intrigued a viewer's mind maybe you're watching again and they went and did the whole research and copy and pasted it 
into uh, <clears throat> the comments. So thank you for that. I appreciate you going uh, full Ask Jeeves on it for me. Does anybody even remember Ask Jeeves? This is how we know how old I am. Not that old. I'm getting there though. <laughs> All right. We've talked about it before, guys. Many videos. Are you a multi pincher or a single dipper in your fries? I'm a multi. Usually. If I get the fries fresh and hot and I eat them right there on the spot, I'll sometimes go really slow and just enjoy every really fresh hot fry. But in a situation like this, where they're delivery and they've kind of cooled down, just crush. That's certainly a thing about McDonald's. When you eat it there at like 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock, right in the a.m., right when they hit lunch, and you eat it there fresh, it's just, it's a different level of magic. Like, it's still good right now. But when you get a pipe and hot, too hot to try it, golden dream cloud in your mouth, and that burger still giving off steam and leaking juices. Mm, that's when McDonald's. Hits like that cream soda. Okay. I gotta go head over to my main boy. My guy, the man, the myth, the legend. One of the best burgers to ever do it. That Big Mac, baby. This one's looking good too. And I requested extra mac sauce and it came in this cup which is amazing thank you that's a very generous amount I love when establishments hit you off with the proper amount of what you need to just enjoy your life to the fullest Magic. Easily one of the most <clears throat> magical burger creations. Just known to men. You know what I mean? That's crave. You know you're craving that. Mm. 
Hmm. Do I want to finish it? In one go? Or dabble elsewhere? Tough question. You guys ever have, have that happen to you in your meal? Where it's like you're enjoying the one thing so much and you just want to crush, but at the same time you're like, I have other things to attend to. Like I have other amazing places to go before we're through with this video. So sweet and sour sauce. On to the McChicken with the extra lettuce that I requested. You already know. that it's going to be something else. The McChicken was always a burger that in my favorite but it just doesn't make sense for the price it's expensive for what you get So because this was a subscriber special and I was asked to do it, you know, I had to put the juice cleanse on hold once again. <laughs> I'm finally becoming the lying, deceitful character that all the mukbangers portray and are supposed to be. I'm finally hitting my stride, guys. <laughs> I kid you. I realize what's going on here. But I'll prove you. I'll prove you. I'll prove me accurate at some point here in the next few days. The video, those videos are going to start. And you'll see. You'll see my days of, of all that. So, a couple uh, extenuating circumstances, hiccups on the program, but if I'm being completely transparent, during that month there where I just committed to uh, that low carb lifestyle, I hit a like a point or a goal to where like I feel good about everything so I'm not stressing a few dirty videos And then we'll go take our next little step here.
when he requested this meal. I knew I probably couldn't finish it. That's a gang of food. Large fries. That large fries gets you, to be honest. The medium is just so much easier. But uh, I'm definitely ready to tackle at least some more of these nuggets for sure. Because we are not <clears throat> at the wall yet. The nuggets just go down so clean. They're definitely a nice little airy crispy thing good they're a good struggle when you're when you're struggling to eat the rest it's one of the better things it doesn't seem so heavy I'd say out of the shapes of the nuggets that these ones are my favorite these like egg shaped ones Isn't that weird? How your brain can like... It's literally the exact same thing. But your brain like chooses like, no, I like that shape more. Definitely hitting that, hitting that block right now. Where did I end up? 14 nuggets down. And then the rest of the food. But... I've hit the point where if I eat those, it's just going to be a not good time. Probably could get them in, but it's just not worth the aftermath. See, you guys, I do care about myself to some degree. <laughs> okay, one more. Make it an even or an uneven, an odd 15. Thanks once again for the uh, support on the meal, my brother. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I certainly did. I love a good crush uh, of a favorites from McDonald's like this. So till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. <laughs>